Neo Automata is a great game, but the mouse and keyboard implementation is not good, which is why the Nio mod, which stands for Nio Automata Input Overhaul Mod, aims to fix those issues. The mod is made by Methan Hydrate, who's done similar mods in the past. I would invite you to check his PC Gaming Wiki page, link in the description. I was a tester on the mod, so I will show you its features and how to install it. The video only shows up to the first 10 minutes of the game, so there will be no story spoilers. In the vanilla game, if you use a mouse, in the side view, the aiming angle resets itself every time you stop moving the mouse, which makes it very annoying to orient your pod in the desired angle. But with the mod, you simply aim where you want to aim. The crosshair in the side and top view is totally optional, and I'll show you how to customize this in the mod options. Same thing for the top view, the vanilla game makes it very frustrating to aim with the mouse as it's trying to emulate the gamepad. But with the mod, once again, with or without the crosshair, your aim reacts one-to-one -to, -one to your mouse input, which gives you actual control and makes the game much, much more enjoyable. For the third-person view, in the base game, there is a lot of negative mouse acceleration, so if you move your mouse faster, your view will actually move slower, which can not only be annoying, but also nausea-inducing. The mod gives you true raw mouse input implementation instead, so you can move your mouse as fast or as slow as you want, and it will always react as you expect it to. So yeah, you can relax, no more frustration. The mod also gives you a toggle fire key, meaning you don't have to keep pressing the key to fire, but still lets you use the pod dash ability when needed. It gives you an option to disable pod petting, so you don't find yourself petting the pod by mistake when surrounded by enemies. And finally, it gives you a dedicated evade key and the option to disable double tapping a key to evade. So now let's see the installation process, which is very simple. By the way, the mod attaches itself to the executable file, so the mod will only work with the official Steam version of the game. Now, launch the game, and it could help to set the game on default settings. Close the game, download the Nio mod, once again, link in the description. Once it's done, open the zip archive, simply extract its content in the game folder which should be something like this. And that's it. By the way, there is a readme file for the mod right here, which will explain to you everything you need to know about the installation process, the features, and more. Now double click this file and it will launch the configuration for the mod. The first time you launch it, you will be prompted by a small window. Just click OK when you read it. There are some nice tooltips on every field you can read. I would advise you to bind the reload config key. You'll see why later. You can enable or disable the crosshair for the side or top view if you want. Set your X and Y sensitivities to any value, positive or negative. You can then bind any key or key combination to any action, like say W for forward, but also shift plus W, for example, there is no restriction. If you don't like to double tap keys, I would advise you to tick this box to disable tap evade and to bind a key to the evade action. In the combat tab, you could leave fire pod dash unbound and instead bind the excellent auto fire action, meaning it's a toggle, so you don't have to hold down the key to fire. Leaving the disable pod pet box ticked is a good idea. Finally, you can bind the keys for menu navigation. All the actions you have bound in the GUI will use the keys assigned to them in the game keyboard's options, so keep that in mind. Once you're done, your tabs will look something like this. By the way, you don't have to bind anything to these two fields. 
as they will toggle the mod on and off while in the game. Now press the save button. You can close this window or leave it opened. Now launch the game as you would normally through Steam. And if the mod is installed correctly, while the game is loading, you will hear this. Name loaded. Now load the level or start the game. If you want to adjust your sensitivity or change your binds, I'll tab out of the game, go to the GUI window, adjust your sensitivity or keys, press save, and when you alt tab back in the game, press your reload configuration key I told you about earlier. And you will hear this. Name reloaded. By the way, the far mod link in the description is not required to use Nio mod, but it's compatible. So if you have any resolution issues or want to improve your frame rate, you can install the far mod before or after having installed Nio mod. I would advise you to not open the NVIDIA GeForce Experience menu while you are playing the game. It could conflict with the mod. However, you can still record uh, videos and save as much as you like, but use the NVIDIA shortcuts instead. Okay, now you are ready to play. I would like to thank Methan Hydrate, the author of this mod, for allowing me and hopefully many others to enjoy this game with mouse and keyboard. By the way, modders very rarely get donations, so if you have one coin to spare, Trust me, he really deserves it. And by clicking this button on the GUI, you can also report bugs or give feedback. Thank you.